Hey everybody, Delta Light Gaming back with you once again, and it is Friday. Hopefully your week has gone well, and if not... This may be our last chance of getting out of here alive, Isaac. There's an asteroid loaded up in the mining bay waiting to be smelted. If you attach the SOS beacon to it, you can launch it away from the ship to make a clean broadcast. The beacon's on the maintenance subdeck. You can launch the asteroid from the control room. <sighs> Damn, the control room is locked. It looks like they keep an emergency access key on the processing subdeck. Couldn't be easy, could it? Of course not. I don't know how much more of this I can take. Uh huh, sure. You're the one who's doing all the work. So, like I was saying. It's Friday. It's the weekend. If your week went a little rough, hopefully the weekend will, you know, be a little relaxing. So, some stuff in the horror news genre. The horror genre news? Horror news? I don't know. The, um, axe that, uh, Jack Nicholson. Nicholson. I always get him in the golfer because there's Jack Nichol Jack Nicholas and Jack Nicholson. And I think Jack Nicholson is the actor and Jack Nicholas is the golfer. But I always get their names confused. Uh, the axe that he used in The Shining went for auction for like 200 grand. That's not bad. You know, and what's funny is they had to, you know, speaking of The Shining, they actually had to reinforce that door, the one he, you know, cuts down with the axe because he was a volunteer firefighter. So the first time they did the cut and, you know, he makes the first couple swings and he basically, you know, shatters the door into splinters, they're like, no, oh, we don't need a Hollywood door, we need a real door. So I always thought that was kind of interesting that he basically shatters a door because they just weren't aware that, hey, he actually, you know, was a firefighter. And then on uh, Wednesday, yeah, Wednesday, the second, was the 60th anniversary of the first Twilight Zone episode. Do both in the air, but I want my reload speed. I don't know if I hit that one, then I can get the next two capacity. So one, two, three, four left. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three. So I need twenty-three more. Ugh. I don't know if I can get that done. At least not in the first playthrough. Chapter 7. Um, let me see here. Okay. The mining subject is offline for some reason, Isaac. Of course it is. I'll see if I can run a bypass. So am I, do I need to go to processing? Hi there. Goodbye. Whoa. Is 
That guy didn't offer anything. Okay. Uh, I wanted to talk about this also. Last weekend, I... This is Temple. I found Elizabeth, but there isn't a single space-worthy vessel in the whole goddamn bay. Jango, hurry up! We need to find a beacon. There's got to be water in here somewhere. So anyways, um, I was watching this documentary-style thing on uh, Prime called Waco, which dealt with uh, David Koresh and the uh, Branch Davidian Church. Oh, crap! You guys done? I'm trying to talk here. Thank you. Anyways, it was dealing with how uh, David Koresh, like, I mean, it's worth watching. Just if you've got Prime, check it out. It's just called Waco. But it deals with how this dude, David Koresh, like, somehow he worked his way into the Branch Davidian chapter in Waco, Texas. And, like, he ended up... Like, he ended up, like, going in there saying, like, he could interpret the Bible, like, better and the, like, Davidian preacher, pastor, leader... I don't I don't know what, what, they, what they called it. It was, like, this, like, 73, 74-year-old woman. And he talks her, you know, into getting married to him, tried to have a kid. She got pregnant at 74 and ended up, you know, they lost the kid. And David used, used that against her, saying that she wasn't devout enough and that, but he was, so he should become the new leader. And the, the church just followed him and kicked her out. And then it ended up becoming this, like, they ended up stockpiling and converting weapons into automatic weapons and doing this. Like, you can kind of tell when you're not really doing a, you know, not really, it's not really a good thing when you're talking about how we have to start training guns and you know, all this other stuff. And some of the stuff you see is kind of like, this is not, this is brainwashing. Like, hardcore brainwashing. And then it ended up... Uh, like, I think 90, almost 90 people ended up dying because of it. But the crazy part about it... And this was something that I've seen before with, like... What is it? Uh... The son of Sam, like the son of Sam killer, they found him, they either found him or they caught him. Somehow, it, like, they ended up because he had, it was like a parking ticket that he, you know, he was parked illegally and they just found out where he was. Well, what it was with the Waco one was they were going to, you know, the ATF was like, hey, these guys are converting guns into automatic rifles, which is illegal, so we're going to go... Uh, we're going to go raid and get all the weapons back. Or, you know, take these weapons from these people. Well, somehow the news caught wind of it. And really quick, that is how you have to do it. It has to be 25 items at one time. But, so like this, there was one, this, one of the news reporters just happened to be lost and was driving down the road and like flagged down this other driver that just happened to be coming the opposite direction. And there was like, the guy, the news reporter asked the guy, he's like, hey, do you know where this church is or whatever? And the guy's like, why? He goes, well, the ATF is about to raid it. Basically, you know, he 
gave away the element of the surprise that the big spender he gave away the ATF's ability to have Entering zero the element of surprise. Safe on the processing control door. It won't open until gravity is restored. But you can't turn on the gravity until those boulders are cleared from the room. I mean, well, Maybe let's... you can dump them into that gravity beam with your sneak. <laughs> that would have been cool if it had done it. And... But, yeah, so, you know, with the dude who was like, you know, I think he was like one of the higher up like second in command kind of deals for David and he so he you know turns around drives back and warns David about it and next thing you know when the ATF turns to the raid they start shooting back and it ends up being this I think they did I think it was like it ended up being like a 52 day standoff and into the oh whoa hello I mean it was it was really it was really interesting a little like documentary because it was it was only it was only a two part documentary what just hit me You? Come on. Thank you. Alright, you gave me money, you give me line wraps. Can I Here, sir. What do you have to offer? Credits. Jump. Alright. Yeah, I've been trying to like watch a bit more of like Yep, of course. Like uh true crime and stuff like that, because I mean like, wait, I've been watching the new American Horror Story season, the 1984. So far, it's not bad, but you can definitely tell that there's, that they're going for that, like, that kind of 80s campy vibe to it. And right now, I mean, I just kind of hope that it doesn't like, completely stick with that, because I think we're all kind of... I mean, don't get me wrong. Campiness, and, you know, the cheesy kind of 80s horror has its place here and there. I just, I don't know. I just don't want it to be to the point where it's like, yeah, it's just too cheesy that it's just, oh, I have to go over there. Yes, 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 yes. Longest jump ever. back away so I can jump two feet. Mm. Yeah, I'll use a power node. Hello, kind sir. And goodbye. Really, these little things again. Crap, 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 crap. This. Oh, I'll just use it on this. Limo. Man, they're still dragging that horse. There better be a lot of credits in that little door to use the power node on because otherwise I think I may have wasted a lot of money buying power nodes. Come on! 
See what's in this room. Uh, what are the other ones? Well, real quick before I get into any other ones, the thing that I think Ruby Semiconductor. Okay, give me. Let's see. Yeah, I'll just use those. Uh, the the, the thing about this that kind of like interests me. Waco and Jonestown are the two things that kind of give me, like, that interest me the most because it's just this whole concept of, like, brainwashing to the extreme. Like, especially in Jonestown, which I watched, I think it was a, it was a documentary I saw on, I think I watched it on YouTube. Isaac. It'll get you into the control room so you can launch the asteroid. Don't forget to attach the beacon first. No shit. I read another report on the colonist dementia. It seemed to start after they removed the marker from the planet. God knows how long it was down there. So anyways, like, Jonestown, this dude convinced, like, what was it, like 1,800 people to commit suicide by drinking, what was it, it was Kool-Aid mixed with cyanide? I believe. But it's just kind of crazy just how, like, influential these people are in just how they speak. That I'd be like, hey, commit suicide. Like, that's just wow. Uh, another one I wanted to watch before, before you know, after watching Wakeful was the, I think it was Heaven's Gate. That one was damn interesting because it was... Okay. There was nothing there. But I think I'm gonna have to talk about Heaven's Gate another day, because I think I'm gonna end this episode here. Let me find a quick save point. Wait, am I back around where I was? There's the store. Hopefully this is safe. Well, I think I'm just going to end this episode here. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Please feel free to like, share, comment, and subscribe. You guys Please have a great day, great weekend, whenever you're watching this. I will see you in the next video. Stay awesome.